Hi, my name is Marissa and I'm a student here at MIT. I spent my freshman year living in Baker House, which is a very conveniently located piece of real estate. It's about a two minute walk from the student center and its proximity to main campus means that you can wake up about 20 minutes before class and still be on time. All of that changed, however, when I made the big decision to move across the river this year. Now, don't get me wrong, I love living in Boston, but there is one thing that is practically a constant source of frustration, and that is Safe Ride. Oh. <laughs> I did not Safe Ride is the shuttle system that MIT has put in place for students. Boston East and Boston Daytime are mostly used by students who live across the river. Just less than a thousand undergraduates live in Boston, which means the shuttle system is integral to getting about a fourth of our population to class and back home every day. According to the MIT Department of Facilities website, the shuttles run from 8 a.m. until 3 a.m. approximately every 20 to 30 minutes, depending on the time of day. Hardly a day goes by where I don't hear people grumbling about Safe Ride, whether they're waiting for it to show up, they've just gotten on it, they've just gotten off of it, or really any time in between. And I know I personally have done my fair share of grumbling about Safe Ride, but I wanted to figure out what the problem really is. What is it about Safe Ride that causes hundreds of people a day to complain about it? And is there a legitimate problem? Or is the frustration caused by the fact that it's just a bunch of sleep deprived college students who haven't had their morning cup of coffee yet? So I decided to go talk to other people who live across the river in order to determine what the real problem is. When I asked them to identify specific problems with Safe Ride, here's what they had to say. I don't think that the shuttles that are utilized the most are prioritized appropriately. Accountability of staff on Safe Ride. A lot of the times, the Safe Ride drivers will just stop and not do a run, um, or they'll say that you know there's like something going on in Boston and they're not allowed to travel back across the river, even though there are like obviously cars going across the river. Well, the tracking system is often faulty. The tracking service isn't dependable, and so we have this illusion of dependability, which is even worse. Like the tracking system that tells you when it's gonna be there. Half the time I'm like waiting outside for 30 minutes or I'm like running outside as because it's like five minutes early and it passes me by. So it seems like all these problems revolve around the dependability of Safe Ride and the fact that it doesn't always operate as it is expected to, especially with regard to the tracking system. But I wanted to know how these problems affect everyone and why it is such a problem. So I asked everyone to share their experiences with dealing with these issues. I guess by now I kind of assume the worst in Safe Ride. I usually plan to take one Safe Ride before when I actually need to be in class. And I sleep 30 minutes less because of that. So I was trying to go to the gym and this was like six o'clock. I'm sitting in the chapter room, which is right by the window. So you can see where the street is and you can see where Safe Ride usually comes. And I'm looking at the tracker and it says that it has just turned down the street like to finally come. Like normally when it's at that turnaround point, you still have like a good five minutes. And I'm sitting there and as I'm seeing it on the tracker at that turnaround point, I look up out the window and Safe Ride's outside. So it goes by, I miss it. So that sucked and I ended up just walking across the icy bridge and like nearly falling into the water. I don't mind so much that I occasionally have to walk or like pay for a cab or like get the bus. I care that like I can't plan for it more than anything else. I guess it's more just like the little things when you're like kind of either stressed out or tired and you just want to get home and it's really frustrating. It's like late nights in the reading room when you want to go home right away and go to sleep because you have a test the next day. And like if Safe Ride says it's gonna leave at 1.30 a.m. but ends up sitting there until like 1.37 and you're like every minute is like making me more and more frustrated because I just want to go home and go to sleep. As Panhel president, I talked to a group of five or six women, I'd guess, who said that they were walking alone on the bridge consistently at like 11.30 midnight. So it was dark. They were alone walking through pretty isolated areas. And it was because, lo and behold, Safe Ride just wasn't running, which really freaked me out because that sounds like some horrible situation waiting to happen. But it was a really dangerous choice. And I don't think anybody should have to be making a choice at a school where they're paying $60,000 of tuition between like, do I want to be safe or do I want to have the ability to sleep enough to be healthy? Many of the problems voiced by the people that I talked to could easily be solved by taking simple steps to make Safe Ride more reliable, such as modifying the tracking application and holding drivers to a more strict schedule. At a school like MIT, where academics already cause mounds of stress, students shouldn't have to worry about something as simple as whether or not they're going to be able to make it to class that day.